Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the dragon effect. Not the actual dragon effect, but a my version of it. Um, I have here a couple of examples before and after. I have another one right here. I think it looks pretty decent. Uh, I find this works best with um, on faces that have quite distinct features. Uh, especially old people, <laughs> no offense, but with the wrinkles it works really good. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to use a lot of shortcuts uh, and we're going to start off duplicating this layer. The shortcut is Control J. Go up to Image, Adjustments, and down to Shadow and Highlights. Again, not every picture is the same, so the values I'm using here might not be good for you, but play around with it and find out what works best for your particular picture. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to flatten the image and that is control F5 then control L which brings up the level dialog box and you want to push the gray slider a little to your right just about there uh, then we want to go to image adjustments and brightness and contrast and we want to yeah add Add some more contrast. Uh, and then control J to duplicate. And then you want to desaturate this layer, which is control, shift, and the letter U. Control, shift, and U. Then we go back to brightness and contrast. And we want to add a little bit more contrast than before. I added 30 before, so let's go with 45 this time. And then we, then we want to invert this picture, and that is Control I. And we want to add a Gaussian blur to this filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. I have this. Yeah, let's just go with around 10 for that. And then we want to set the blend mode to overlay. And we want to turn the opacity down to about 50, 55. That's fine. And then we want to merge again, Control F5. Copy, Control J. <clears throat> and now here comes the part that takes the longest, but I'm going to be doing it quickly for the sake of this tutorial. But you want to choose your burn tool, which is over here. Hold down your left mouse key, and there's the burn tool. Up here, set the range to midtones and exposure to 40%. What you want to do is just go over every shadow on the face, every line, every wrinkle, wherever there is a shadow. You go over that to make it darker. Yes, I'll be doing this quickly because I need to keep this video under 10 minutes. but spend, spend some time on this to get it right because this is what's going to make it pop okay when you've done that you want to choose your burn your dodge tool which is in the same place on the, as the burn tool dodge tool you want to set the range to highlights and the exposure to 15% and now you want to do basically the opposite the dodge tool makes things brighter so wherever there's a little highlight on the face go over it with the dodge tool change the brush size and stuff <coughs> and if his eyes were more visible I would go over the white inside the eyes as well to make them pop okay let's see before and after that's before and this is after enough for that uh, then we want to go up to filter and down to sharpen and unsharp mask and uh, again this is a matter of taste but I like it quite sharp I'm gonna keep it where it is click OK 
and then control F5 again, control J to duplicate, and then control U that opens up the hue and saturation dialog box. And I wanna take the saturation down a little bit. There we go. Uh, and then I wanna set the blend mode to soft light. And that is a little harsh, so play with the opacity. Take that way down. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, then we go back up to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. And pop the contrast a little bit again. Maybe take the brightness up a notch. Yep, control F5. And again, control U for the hue and saturation. And I want to take the saturation down. to about there. It's a matter of taste. And then we want to duplicate again. Control J. We go up to image, adjustments, and down to variations. What you want to do here is click on the one that says more yellow. Just click on that and the one that says darker. And then click OK. <coughs> and that is looking horrible. So let's change the blend mode to hue and control F5 to merge. Uh, now we want to get a new blank layer. Just press this icon down here or the shortcut is control shift and N. We want to fill this layer with black. Have black as your foreground color. If you don't press D and it will go to the default color settings. And the shortcut to fill is alt and delete and that will fill the page or the layer if you want. And take it down the opacity to about 60. Let's zoom out. Add a layer mask, which is this little icon down here. Again, be sure you have black as your foreground color. Choose your brush. The shortcut is B. And you want to have a zero hardness brush for this. And you just want to go over Some parts of the face. Why is this not working? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's because I have my opacity set down from before. Sorry. That's not supposed to happen. Go over the face. Some parts of it. to your liking. And that's why I had the opacity down bec because I used it before because I like to turn it down and then go and make this out here a little brighter. And I want to turn it down even further and just brighten this up a little bit right here. And you know what? We're done. Just press control F5 and we're done. Let's see the before which is right here. Let's make it a little bigger. And this is the after. Before and after. Pretty cool. Spend more time in it, on it, of course, and you'll get a much better result. But I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something. And leave me a comment, and I'll see you soon. Bye.